All right, so we are done with our table um, design or development, and we are displaying some data from our table inside the database. Now, what I think we should do next is actually make this a little bit more dynamic. I want to show you a technique that I use all the time and something that is going to give you some information, some practice on switch statements. That way we can apply one, one of the things that we learned from the course here on this CMS project. All right, so what I really want to do is make another page and include. So we want to use the, first, this, the same page right here, post.php, and we want to include it. For example, the delete, the inserting, the CRUD basically ins included by using GET requests instead of just going to another page. We will probably include the page using GET requests. And I'll show you right now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you right now exactly how we're going to do this. So the first thing that I want to do is remove this table out of here and include it here depending on certain condition. But for that, we need to make another file. Let's go to admin and then let's go to includes. Right click on includes and let's create another page called view underscore all posts dot php. All right. And let's go to posts and make sure we get that table out of there. Let's get it out of there. The whole table. And then command exit. You will be control editing if you are in the Windows. If you're on a Mac, command X. We know that. And let's go back to view or post. View underscore all underscore post dot PHP. Let's paste it in there. Just fix up this little this thing a little bit here. That's fine. This here, it was just bothering me a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> and let's go back here. Here, what we want to do is a switch statement. So, first we need to check for a condition. So, let's write a PHP tag first before we write any PHP, right? So, we're going to be using the get request. Let's just do this here. Organize this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Make this a little bigger for you. Perfect. So, if it's set, we're going to use this. Remember the this function, get. We're going to check for a get request, get super global. Source, we're going to call this key the source. If it's set, I want you to set this variable. Because what it is, is that for the switch statement to work, we need a condition, right? And it takes only one parameter. It takes only one. So we're going to use one variable. And depending on the variable, we're going to show different pages and include functions. So we're going to check if this get source is available. And if it is, then we set, we make a variable for it called source. All right. If so, that's one condition here. Let me show you, show you the switch statement. If you don't remember, switch right here has the switch statement. All right, and then the switch statement, we have something called cases. For example, this would be 34. All right, and the code would be right here. Nice. I'm just giving you a little placeholder there, so that way you can tell exactly what I'm doing, how this is written. And we're going to copy this a couple of times going down. All right, so this is going to be a different case, and this is going to be a different case. Nice 34, nice 100, and nice 200. You get the idea, right? And here we will have a default here. Default, default. All right, and we have a break here, but we need to put the code right here, right? code here. So this is a switch statement. So we need a condition right here to compare it to this case. So if this source right here is equal to this case, we're going to display this. If it's equal to this case, we're going to display this and so on and so on. All right. So now if we do it like this, but 
what we need to do is include the default page that I want to include would be that view all posts. I want people to view all the posts and then depending on what they click in there to include other files. So we're going to say view all posts dot php. All right. So we are including, remember this file right here that we made with our table. So depending on that condition, we're going to display this table. Now this table is going to be displayed there all the time. That's, that's the idea. But so that's why I'm putting this as a default because I wanted to just in case we don't find any other uh, get requests right then we display that all the time so this is gonna give us an error now but I want you to see it you say you see we are displaying it's giving us a notice actually it's still displaying it for us but it's telling us that it's, it has an undefined variable this is displaying this because all the conditions in the switch statements fail so it knows that it needs to display something it needs to do something after it. so we are displaying it but we're just getting undefined variable for that we just patch it up a little bit and we just use an else and because it's undefined let's just set it to something whatever it doesn't have to be anything it could be empty we just need it to get it out of the way refresh and as you can see here we are including the form there now as a default perfect so for example if we have a condition of 34 if we have a source of 34 I'll show you right now what that is I'm gonna go to the URL on top here I'm gonna type source 34 source 34 there we go enter and you can see it says nice 34 right here all right so that's what we're going to be doing. Depending on this condition here, we're going to be displaying different things here. All right, so we are done with this lecture here. On the next one, we're going to be making the rest of the pages and um, including them depending on the condition. All right, so thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.